I want to provide an example of how you find the present value if the interest rate changes during the time period you're discounting by. Now, normally when we find the present value of something, we have one interest rate and the present value is defined to be equal to the future value in time period n divided by 1 plus r raised raised to the nth power. Now suppose for example and I've got a little cash flow diagram here we're receiving a thousand dollars five years from now and we want to find the present value today but let's say that the interest rate for example is um, eight percent so R equals eight percent in years one to three and say it goes up to 10% in years 4 and 5. So how do we find the present value of that? Well, we don't want to use 8% for all five periods because then we're ignoring the 10%. We also don't want to use 10% for all five periods because then we're using too high an interest rate for three of those periods. So this is the way we do it we're going to take the present value equals the thousand and for the first three oh, let me do the first two periods here or the last two periods so the last two periods will be discounted by 1.10 raised to the second power so that will bring this back one two periods at the pro appropriate interest rate and then we have to multiply by 1.08 for the remaining three periods so these last three periods will be discounted back at the eight percent interest rate so if we wanted to work that out we could take 1.1 and raise it to the second power Okay, that's 1.21. I'm going to save that. So store one. And then 1.08 is going to be raised to the third power. Whoops, sorry. Hit the Y to the X key, raise it to the third power. And that equals 1.259712. We're going to multiply that by the 1.21, which we stored in... Um, uh, storage 1, so it's 1.524, so that's 1.10 squared times 1.08 cubed, and we really want to flip that over, okay, so I'm going to hit the 1 over x key, and now I'll multiply it by 1,000, and we get $656.06. Had we used 10% for all five periods we would have gotten too low a number in fact we can do that we can use our cash flow um, time value of money uh, function keys here so we could have done it that way n equals five uh, interest rate is ten percent and the future value is a thousand and we could have computed the present value but we get too low it we get too low a present value because we use too high an interest rate for three of the periods. We should have only used 8% here, we used 10%. Likewise, had we used 10% for all, um, I'm sorry, had we used 8% for all three periods, we'd have too high a present value. So let me put that in. Everything else is the same, compute present value. We get 680.58, uh, so we've ignored the 10%. So the correct way to do this is to use both interest rates for the appropriate number of periods. So we had 8% for three periods and we had 10% for two periods.